Hi there, I'm Nuno's avatar and I'll be your guide for another quick and useful VS tutorial. Today, we'll explore image and video materials, how they work, what makes them different, and how to make the most of them in your visuals. Let's jump right in. Let's start by loading an image. Double click the first layer's thumbnail, then select image slash video from the media category in the material browser. From there, open the factory bank, navigate to the textures folder and choose perplex on texture two. An image material includes the following parameters, scale, rotation, X, Y, and fill mode. The speed parameter doesn't apply to image materials, so it's disabled by default. Now let's reset all the parameters we've just adjusted and set the fill mode to crop. Now let's load a video. Double click the second layer's thumbnail, then select image slash video from the media category in the material browser. From there, open the factory bank and open the videos folder. Select perplex on basic shape square. Finally, drag the second layer to the left so the video appears on top of the image. You'll notice the video has a black background that completely covers the image underneath. To make it more visually appealing, open the color panel and select a blend mode. Let's choose soft add. It now blends perfectly with the background image. We'll explore blend modes and composition in more detail in another tutorial. Now, let's take a look at the video material parameters. The video material shares many of the same parameters as the image material. However, the speed parameter here controls the video's playback speed. And you'll also find two additional parameters, start and end, which define the video's playback range. There's also a dedicated layer properties group for videos. Here, you can control two options, loop and restart. The loop property determines whether the video plays continuously. By default, looping is enabled unless you turn it off. The restart property lets the video start over whenever it receives a MIDI note on, according to the layer's MIDI input settings. To demonstrate this, let's load a second video. Double click the third layer's thumbnail, then select image slash video from the media category in the material browser. From there, open the factory bank and open the videos folder. Select perplex on basic shape circle two. Drag this layer to the left so it appears on top of everything else. Next, open the layer properties, go to the color panel and set the blend mode to soft add. Then open the video group settings, disable the loop property, and set restart to MIDI. Now, the video will restart automatically whenever a MIDI note is played. With everything set up, you can try different backgrounds by clicking the arrows beside the layer thumbnail. This convenient feature lets you quickly browse through all the items in the original folder without reopening the browser each time. Using images and videos in VS is that simple. Combine what you've learned here with the techniques from our other tutorials to create even more amazing reactive visuals. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any future VS tutorials. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.